This video is going to give you a quick view of what is ham radio. And we're not talking about this kind of ham radio. Ham radio, also known as amateur radio, is a popular hobby and a service in which licensed participants operate communications equipment with a deep appreciation of the radio art. Although hams get involved for many reasons, they all have in common a basic knowledge of radio technology and operating principles. Ham radio has come a long way since the spark gap generator of Marconi's day, or even the ham radio that your grandfather used. Today we have very advanced radios with modern technology. Like a diamond, amateur radio has many facets. Hams enjoy three different aspects of ham radio. The operating, the technology, and the social points of view. Your interest in the hobby may be technology. You may want to use ham radio for a specific purpose. Or you may just want to join the fun. The main types of operating are rag chewing, nets, DXing, contesting, and awards. Amateur radio is very involved in technology, experimenters, innovators, new technology, and many firsts. As well as many social activities, including classes, meetings, ham fests, contests, and social media. There are three basic modes of operating. CW, Morse code, or standard voice, where you just use a microphone plugged into the radio. And then there's digital, where you actually connect your computer to the radio. As far as technology goes, ham radio has played a role since day one. Amateur operators were originally given the 200 meter band and up, which basically is just slightly above the AM broadcast band because the FCC at that point thought that anything above 1600 kilohertz would be useless. Ham radio has played a role in broadcast radio, broadcast television, as well as satellite and even your cell phone originated from amateur radio. Amateur radio was one of the first social networks. There is also club meetings and classes where you can study to upgrade your license or if you're new, get a license. There are ham fests where you can meet people that you talk to on the air and pick up the newest gear. The largest ham fest is Dayton Hamvention, held in May, as well as amateur radio contests, including Field Day, which is the last weekend in June and is one of the most popular contests every year. So is amateur radio just some guy locked in a closet trying to get a hold of somebody on the other side of the world? No, ham radio is a lot more than that, and we welcome you to join in the fun.